start? Well, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I think I was about 17 years old, and I was working in a pool hall. I had become a pretty good pool shooter, and I was hustling there. Sometimes I would clean the tables, and sometimes I would mop the floor, sweep the floor. You know, I'd pick up a couple of dollars here, a couple of dollars there. So one day, these guys came in, five guys, different color outfits, green, purple, red. They looked like Peacocks coming through the door. All these different colors. And they had cars to match the colors of their suits. And they had women in the car. I mean, I was 17, but still, they had them Jennifer Lopez asses. Those, I mean, big asses, you know. I had been confused as to what I wanted to be in life. But when I see these guys, I said, whatever the fuck they is, that's what I want to be. Whatever they is, that's what they want to be. So as faith would have it, I stayed right around the corner from them. And I would go over to their house, and they was teaching me how to cheat in cars. I could deal off the bottom of the deck and deal a second card, and I could shoot three or four pair of dice. And this is what I was doing. And sometimes I'd run to the store, walk the poodles, take the cars and get them washed, just to make a couple of dollars. But in the process, they were teaching me, like I said, how to cheat in cars, cheat in dice. So eventually, these girls were coming through, and this girl said she took Five hundred out of this guy's pocket, and the other girl say she took seven hundred out of this guy's pocket, and I said, "Well, what the fuck? I ain't getting no money with these cards and dice. Yeah. I want to be a pickpocket." Totally. So I went to, <laughs> so I went to the, um, I went to my teacher. I told him, I said, "Look, I want to be a pickpocket." He said, "You don't know anything about picking pockets." I said, "I didn't know a goddamn thing about dice and cards." So you told me, "Teach me how to be a pickpocket." Well, he didn't. He he wasn't that good at stuff. He knew the basics, but he didn't actually knew what he was doing. You know, I got more from the girls than I got from him. But as faith would have it, he called me one day and said, look, pack your bags. We're going to New Orleans, Louisiana for the Mardi Gras. I said, New Orleans, Louisiana for the, he said, yeah, you'll get, you'll get plenty of practice down there because everybody down there wore costumes. And they're drunk. And they're drunk. <laughs> and they're drunk. So off to Louisiana we go, and he tells me to go get about five costumes. Uh, Batman and Flash and all these different co costumes, Daffy Duck. And so I said, well, what I got? He said, in case you get hot in one costume, you run back to the hotel and, and put and on by, another one. And by hot, you mean overheated? No, if you get hot, meaning if the police get in my okay. ass. <laughs> so, so. You know I, when you're on like the same wavelength as someone and then you're not at all? That, <laughs> that just happens. <laughs> and so I'm taking pockets, I'm, I'm, I'm taking wallets and stuff and I'm going up and down and I'm, getting kind of hot, and I'm running back to the hotel, change costume, come back, get hot, run back to the hotel, change costume. So I'm going back and forth taking wallets. You know, this, yeah, one guy, he just, this, this former, he was walking down the street, he had a flat ass, and, and the wallet was jumping up and down out of his pocket like a fish what? out of the street. All you had to do was time the motherfucker and grab it and go on down the street, you know, so I, you know, I was getting plenty of practice. So anyway, when I got back to the hotel, I tell the, uh, my teacher, I said, this was a piece of cake. He said, you think it was a piece of cake? He said, well, let me tell you one thing. If you think you're that goddamn good, take your ass to New York. If you can do it in New York, you can do it anywhere in the world. I started packing my shit then, right? So he said, look, you're not a pickpocket. I'm going to give you a, a, a letter of introduction to the, to the gypsies. I said, the, he said, yes, if they got some gypsies in New York, I'm going to give you a letter of introduction. You got $500? I said, sure. He said, when you get there, go see these people. They'll brush you up, teach you how to be a real pickpocket because you're you know, you're, you're at the beginner stage. So sure enough, I get to New York, I check in on the, uh, on 8th Avenue, 54th Street. About two blocks down the street, they have one of those gypsy places in the women's in the I have front. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they're, in, they're in one of those storefront places, and they're the crystal uh, ball, and they got the cards. And oh, they got totally. The, okay, they are fortune tellers. Fortune tellers, yeah. yeah. And you're like, why am I going to get my fortune read by someone who can't even have a full floor? They just have the little window. Yeah, but yeah so, anyways, when I would, so when I would, I did all this card stuff, that bullshit. So I, I go in and I say, look, I'm looking for Ralphie. So she said, wait right here. So she goes in the back and this tall, thin guy comes out. Looks like Earl Flynn. How, what was his ass like? Flat. <laughs> <laughs> Do I?